Now I'd like to present the VitaScene plugin from ProDAD, which is also included with EDIUS 6. As I mentioned previously, VitaScene exists in two versions. The first one as a video filter, and we can see that here. And a second version, the VitaScene transition, in the Transitions ProDAD folder. And this I can use between two clips. And I'd like to start with this. I'd like to position the VitaScene transition between these two clips. So I drag and drop it here. And of course, all the rules that we have discussed many times during this course apply in this case too. Now we can look at this transition. Here, on my computer, it probably won't be performed in real time, as we're dealing with full HD material. And the VitaScene transition included here, which is VitaScene 1, will probably require too much processing power for my computer to play it in real time. I'll try it nonetheless. I'll click on play. And yes, we can see the computer stutters here. But you do get an impression of what this VitaScene transition will look like. If I wish to see how this transition will actually look, then I can force my computer to calculate it by using the render function. And to do this, I go into the render menu, and then I can choose the render red area from the render entire project submenu. And now the sections that couldn't be played in real time will be rendered. This will take a bit of time in my case, but once it's ready, I can look at it. And now we can see that the effect is played smoothly. And so this information is also useful for other plugins, not just for VitaScene. If your computer runs out of processing power when performing certain effects in EDIUS, then you have the possibility to render specific sections. What now interests me is how I can adjust the various parameters in this VitaScene plugin. And I'd like to cover that in the following lesson.